assalamu alaikum we are another interesting video regarding gender determination in this case the female has four female baby and now this is male gender determination is very important in india pakistan and bangladesh for the females so coming to the live case this is the head of the fetus and you can see the hypothalamic view for the bpd and hc the arrow sign show the hypothalamic view and this view is taken for the PPD and HC. This cross bone to 36 weeks. Where do you know what is the normal scar thickness and why it is so important in advanced pregnancy to find out the scar thickness? I'll tell you in the coming frames of this video. Now see the cross section at the hypothalamic level and after magnifying, you can measure the scar thickness that is about 1.5 mm. It is about 1.5 mm. So, normal scar thickness is up to 3 mm, and if it is less than that, it is called the thin scar that may cause pain in the lower abdomen before the 37 weeks of pregnancy. Cervical length is about 3.6 cm. And you should be able to find out the cervical length that is very important and you should know the normal cervix length as well. Now putting the color doppler between the head and the neck region you will find the vessels that show the cord around the neck. Now would like to see the fetal cardiac activity that is present. Do you know the normal heart rate? And is that important to find out the heart rate? I'll tell you. So, would like to find the heart rate in this particular patient of the fetus. It is about 167 per minute. Now, would like to find out the abdominal circumference at the level of the gastric bubble. This measurement is also correspond to the 35 to 36 weeks of pregnancy. See the abdominal circumference. No, I like to measure the femur length to find out the baby weight and date of delivery. We are measuring the cervix is important because in 80% of the patient with length of the cervix between 2 and 3 cm they deliver normally. Among cervical length more than 4 cm percentage of the women delivered vaginally was 52 and abdominal was 48%. Cervical length can predict the way of delivery. No like to measure female length that also correspond to 36 weeks you can see the penile that is very clear in this case one we used to determine the gender in this particular case so normal fetal heart varies from 110 to 160 if it is less or more than that it could be abnormal so the fetal weight is about 28-80 gram and the fetal weight correspond to fetal age that is about 35-36 to 36 weeks of pregnancy. See this total sac. So do you know the EFI, amniotic fluid index and what is the importance of this index? I'll tell you. This is a total sac that show the male gender. See the placenta that is posterior fundal and it is of great to maturity. So these are the different parameters fetus at 35 to 36 weeks of pregnancy. Again see the female length, fetal weight, expected date of delivery. BPD, HC, 
and abdominal circumference. Placenta is fundo posterior, serial node phenomena. There is no gap in the spine from the cervix to the septal region. We have what is the ST card ratio and uh, does it has any importance? We will see it. So, seal gender and the umbilical cord vessel to find out the ST card like a face to be normal. Now we will like to measure the ST card ratio of the umbilical vessels. I am going to put the power doppler on the umbilical vessel to find out the ST ratio of the umbilical vessel. In the early pregnancy, the ratio is more with the passage of time or in the advanced pregnancy like third or second trimester, it decreases. In this case, the ratio is about 2.18. As you can see, also see the gender. So, what is the AFI, amniotic fluid? Index. It varies from 5 to 25 centimeter. If it is less than 5, then it is oligohydramnios. And if it is more than 25, it shows the polyhydramnios. So again, coming to the life case, like our face to be normal, we used to measure the like in the four quadrant of the abdomen to measure the AFI, that is amniotic fluid index. See the gender. It's very clear. So, the ST card ratio in the second trimester is between 3.3 to 4.3 and it will decrease to 1.7 to 2.4 in the third trimester. ST card ratio basically show resistance to the blood flow in the blood vessel that goes to the fetus. Thanks for watching this video.